Welcome back to my kitchen everybody. I'm John and this is Cooking with John. Now this recipe is going to go with the chicken that we just made and that video is up. But this is grilled cauliflower. I don't remember where I found it or where I got it. Um, I don't even think I even have it printed out. But it's so simple and easy. It's an excellent side for any chicken, beef, pork meal. Let's get to it. This is a real easy recipe. And I don't know if I got this off of all recipes or something, or I saw a video somewhere on the internet. Um, you know, I get so many emails this way that a lot of times I forget. You know, I am going to go with two cauliflowers. So it's basically you get yourself a head of cauliflower. And this is where it can get tricky, everybody, because. If the cauliflower wants to cut good, you'll be good to go. If it doesn't, it gets crumbly, then we got to make it with Reynolds wrap. So I'm just going to start getting some of this stuff cleared off of it. You know, get the leaves off. Ooh, cauliflower. Oh, that's crispy. And with this recipe, you know, I made it for my wife that one time, and or we had a friend over, and uh, I made it for him with this meal because we promised we would cook him a meal because he helped us out. And my wife was walking by, just snipping at it. Let me get that tip off. Yeah, there you go. So what I'm looking to do here, everybody, is do I have my pan? I do not have a pan out. I'll use this pan today. We want to cut this. Oh, let's get that leave off. So it's like little steaks. You see, and it will crumble sometimes. So let's just go right there, right down the middle. So. Here's one. We're going to put that over there. There's one. Now the crumbles, I'll put in some Reynolds wrap. Now this is the hard thing right here because this is really holding this so I'm just going to leave it because you don't need to eat that. So we got three nice big looking steaks. Not steaks but you know. So let's cut this one too now, okay? That one held okay. Let's get another one right there. There we go. And there we go. All right, this extra I'll put in a bag for my wife. She can have this as a snack at work. She cuts up, we cut her up um, vegetables, carrots, peas, um, all that type of stuff. So this is a nice little thing for her. So we're going to go like that. All right. See, we got, we're using all of the cauliflower. You know. Hi Weber, where have you been today? We'll get that sealed up and put away for my wife. Let's get this out of here. Now, we'll get this tossed too real quick. Okay, so you could use cooking spray, olive oil. I'm just going to pour some olive oil in here. If I remember right, the recipe said to drizzle it on, but I think brushing it on is a little bit better. So you just brush it on, 
both sides, okay? But we're going to do one side at a time right now. This one's a little thicker, so I'm going to add a little bit more onto that. I didn't want to cut too much of the bottom off. The thicker you make these, the longer they're going to be on the grill. So, then you season it, and I use my SBGO, but salt, pepper, garlic. So you're going to put a light seasoning on these. Okay, just like that, just like that, and just like this. All right. Now, when you put these on the grill, you want this flat side down first because you're going to want to get some grill marks on there. You're going to grill this on medium on your grill, and that's how you're going to get that. And then, if I remember right, for the um, for the um, uh, this one's falling apart. That happens, everybody. See, you know, um, in the recipe. It called you to put it in a cast iron pan and then direct cook it for a little while. What I do is I wrap them up in Reynolds wrap and then put them off to the side. Because sometimes I just don't want to get a cast iron pan all dirty unless I'm doing a lot of cast iron cooking. And we'll get to some of those recipes too. So on this side, we're just going to brush it on again. And this one is going to be kind of goofy because I kept the stem on it because I wanted to make sure that this one didn't fall apart like you saw this one doing. So now we're going to put some of your seasoning on and I'm doing it with the SBGO. There we go. Now we're going to move this one over here. We're going to put that right there. We're going to move this over here. And we got these two left to do. So let's pour a little bit oil, more oil in there. We're almost out. And brush that on. This is so good. So you do it over medium heat. Okay, everybody. Ah, just pop. See? You pop it off. You know. A good cauliflower is hard to find nowadays. This one. Some of them have been so small lately, you know. I'm going to brush that on really nice. Season it up and do the other side again. more. I have done it with cooking spray, butter, cooking spray. So you do it on medium, medium heat. You do it for about three to four minutes. You want to get a sear mark. And then what you do is you put it off to the side. I put it in Reynolds wrap then and indirect cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes. So since we are having this with our chicken, you'll see. Okay, I think that should be good enough, everybody. This is extra for me to chew on while I'm cooking. So sprinkle your seasoning on. You know, if you don't like a ton of seasoning, put a little bit on, but it's so good. This goes in here. So I'm going to go outside now and I'm going to grill these up and bring it back so then you can have a little picture to see what this is all like. We'll see you very shortly. Okay, everybody. Guess what? Just got in with the grilled cauliflower. We have all the meal preps over here. Let's take a look and see how this came out. Very hot. And there you go. Just steaming away. Look at that. That is the grilled cauliflower. Uh, ooh, the juice is in there. Um, I need my Jane over here real quick. Now, 
The original recipe said to put this in cast iron, but we went this way. So now we got to have the Jane. She's our guinea pig, and she's going to tell us if this is good. And oh, that is tender. Can you come over here? Probably going to be hot. <laughs> Here, let me blow on it for you. Hey, say hi to people on the mic. Hi, people on the mic. Yeah, it's steaming. Yeah, so, note to self. <laughs> What's that? Note to self means what? It means remember the next time you see steam, that it means it's hot. Oh, look at that one. That one came out really good. It's juicy. How is it? Very good. Very good? Oh, very, very good. Is it tender? Yes. Okay, that's to what we wanted. And the bigger ones I left on for a little bit longer, but we got them a nice char line. So this is gonna go with our meal preps over here with all that chicken. We'll get some pictures for you. And my grilled cauliflower. Very good, very tender. Smells incredible. And it's a roach doing it because they like to fall apart, you know. So let's get this going. All right, that's grilled cauliflower, everybody. Um, simple. Took about 10 minutes for the smaller pieces, 15 minutes after I wrapped them up. But this is why they say to put it in cast iron, maybe throw a gob of butter just to steam it up even more. But it smells incredible. The steam is still rising. We're going to finish up these meal preps. But this is John's Grilled Cauliflower. Simple, easy. Anybody can make it. Like I said, it's the seasoning that brings this out. So thank you for coming in and watching another cooking recipe. This is John, cooking with John. And, you know, do all that great stuff. Likes, subscribe, notify, share. Do all that nice stuff. But I hope you like this. Tell me how you seasoned your cauliflower because I would love to learn a new way too. Next time, I'll see you. Another new recipe. We'll see you next time.